It is time to start building neural networks. A neural network is a machine learning algorithm with the training data being the input to the input layer and the predicted value the value at the output layer. Each connection from one neuron to another has an associated weight W. Each neuron, except the input layer, which just holds the input value, also has an extra weight we call the bias weight, B. During feedforward, our input gets transformed by weight multiplications and additions at each layer. The output of each neuron can also get transformed by the application of what's called an activation function. Learning in neural networks consists of tuning the weights or parameters to give the desired output. One way of achieving this is by using the famous gradient descent algorithm and applying weight updates incrementally via a process known as path propagation. That was a lot of theory. The code in Keras is much simpler, as we will see now. Keras allows you to build models in two different ways, using either the functional API or the sequential API. We will focus on the sequential API. This is a simple yet very powerful way of building neural networks that will get you covered for most use cases. With the sequential API, you are essentially building a model as a stack of layers. You can start with an input layer, add a couple of hidden layers, and finally, end your model by adding an output layer. Let's go through a code example. To create a simple neural network, we will do the following. Import the sequential model from Keras models. Import a dense layer, also known as fully connected layer, from Keras layers. We can then create an instance of a sequential model. In this next line of code, we add two layers, a two neurons dense fully connected layer and an input layer consisting of three neurons. The input layer is defined with the input chip parameter. This first layer matches the dimensions of our input data. We finally add another fully connected layer this time with one neuron. We've built a network to the right. In order to add an activation function to our layers, we can make use of the activation argument. For instance, this is how we will add a ReLU activation to our hidden layer. Don't worry about the choice of activation functions that will be covered later on in the course. Once we have created our model, we can call the summary method on it. This displays a table with three columns. The first with the layer's name and type. The second with the shape of the outputs produced by each layer. And the third containing the number of parameters. Those are the weights, including the bias weight of each neuron in the layer. When the input layer is defined via the input shape parameter, as we did before, it is not shown as a layer in the summary, but it is included in the layer where it was defined, in this case, the dense free layer. That's why we see that this layer has eight parameters. Six parameters or weight come from the connection of the three input neurons to the two neurons in this layer. The missing two parameters come from the bias weights, B0 and B1, one per each neuron in the hidden layer. These add up to eight different parameters. Just what we have in our summary. It is time to code. Let's 